Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're going to see how we can create a website traffic campaign inside the Facebook ads account. So once we log into the account, guys, we can start building out the campaign from here and we can build a traffic campaign. Now, as you can see, a traffic campaign will optimize for multiple things. Like we can do it for link clicks, which is like we're trying to drive traffic for generating a lot of clicks on the ad, which we've created so that people can reach the particular they can click on the ad and get some traffic. We can do it for landing page views as well, which is a case where we optimize for making people click on the ad and visit our page. We can also do this for driving traffic to Messenger and WhatsApp. Uh, we can also use this campaign for generating business phone calls. Also, this campaign can be used for generating visits to our Instagram profile. So these are all the options, guys, for which we can optimize this campaign. We can start building out the campaign. So Facebook gives us two options. One is tailored web traffic campaign, which is an automated option wherein all the preset settings are used like advantage plus placements, highest volume bidding strategy are used to build out the campaign very seamlessly. The other option is manual traffic campaign where we provide all the details from scratch. So here guys, we can use manual traffic campaign and we can start building this out. So the first thing which we do is we provide the name of the campaign and then we can choose the campaign details. So here in the campaign details, we're looking at the buying type and the campaign objective remains as traffic. You can also go ahead and use the A-B test option to help improve ad performance, test variations and with different images. So the Facebook algorithm will try out different types of images, text and audiences to create various types of ads and see which ones works best for the campaign. Other than that, you can also make use of advantage campaign budget, which is basically a setting where you can allocate budget at a campaign level so that it can be used across all the ad sets in the campaign. So now if you have certain ads which are working really well, then the budget can be more focused on that ad compared to the other ads in the ad sets. So that way you can set a budget at a campaign level here. When you move to the next part, guys, we are coming to the ad set level where you can first name the ad set and now you decide uh, what kind of conversion action you want. So since this is a website traffic campaign, we can look at website as we want to send the traffic to the website. So we can choose that and then we choose our performance goal. So what are we basically optimizing this for? So Facebook gives us multiple options like First is maximize number of landing page views, which is basically a case wherein we try to show the ads to users who are more chances of clicking on the ad and visiting our website, our landing page. The second option is maximize number of link clicks, which is going to focus on targeting our ads in such a manner that it will try to get a lot of clicks on the ad. The other options which you have here is maximize daily unique reach. So we can try to get unique reaches as much as we can on a daily basis. And the other option is maximize number of impressions. So where the Facebook algorithm will optimize the ads to run so that we get maximum number of impressions possible. So if I'm specifically looking for website traffic, then we can look at maximize number of landing pages. And along with that, we can also provide the cost per result goal. We can set an average cost, which we would like to pay for every landing page view, which we are getting. So which we can set out here. Then it also gives us the option to select dynamic creative, wherein the Facebook algorithm will provide creative elements like images and headlines, and they will create various combinations and create various ads for us. The other option is at an ad set level also, you can set budget and schedule. So you can give a daily budget to the ad set, which will be a fixed budget for the ad set, which will be used, or you can use a lifetime budget as well, which is the total money, which will be used in this campaign. The daily budget is going to be an average budget. So Facebook will optimize your budget as per the ads performance. And then we can schedule the campaign as well. We can give a start date end date to it. As you can see, we also get the option for audience control. So where you can do your location targeting, you can choose your location in this particular manner. 
And then we have the option for advantage plus audience, which is where the Facebook algorithm will automatically figure out the best placements where our ads can be shown audiences, which will be targeted. Okay. So it will automatically find the audiences or else we can also do custom audiences. If need be, if we have any custom audiences, look alike audiences, okay. We can choose them as well and we can use them in the campaign. In addition to that, Facebook itself has their own audiences in detailed targeting where you can choose any type of audiences out here. So once you define your audiences whom you are going to target, then you also have placements. So in placements, again, there are two options, advantage placements, which is an automated version where Facebook's algorithm will decide the placements where they would like to show your ads to generate maximum traffic. The other option is you can manually also go ahead and choose the placements, which you can do out here. There are various options, which Facebook gives us the manual options, which has Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and audience network, where you can see these are all the placements where our ads can appear. So you can now select and customize this as well as per your requirement. So once you decide your placements, then now we are going to the ad level where you can name the ad, which you are planning to create. You select your page as well. And now you can go ahead and create the ad over here. So we are going to create different formats are there, which Facebook gives you like, like a flexible or carousal collection, single image or video. So we can choose out of these and then we upload our media. So here you can upload your media file. As you can see in this manner, we can upload the media file and then we provide our primary text. In this manner, you can write your headlines and descriptions. If you want to give, you can give descriptions as well as per your requirement. Once you provide the text over here, guys, then we can go ahead and look at the destination URL or the website URL. We can provide that. You can see in this particular manner, it will appear. We can also go ahead and do the tracking over here. Okay, so since this is where we are looking for website traffic, so we are just want to look focus on that. The Facebook algorithm will optimize the campaign only to generate traffic, bringing people to our website page and making them check out our page. So these are all the details which we are going to fill in. If you see the preview, you can see how the ads will look like uh, once they start running on different placements across the Facebook network. So after you fill up all these details, now you can go ahead and publish this campaign. So this is becoming a website traffic campaign, which we have created now, which will now go for a checking. And once Facebook approves it, then the campaign can go live. I hope this makes sense. And now you understand how we build a Facebook traffic campaign inside the account. Thank you so much, guys, for listening into this session today. And I will see you in the next video.